Today, we're excited to announce NetBurner's newest product, our SOM RT1061. This is a 500 megahertz plus CPU with 32 megs of RAM, 8 megs of flash, dual ethernet, lots of communications ports, I squared C, SPI, UART, timers, a Flexbus interface that can do a traditional parallel interface. It uses all of the NetBurner 3.0 tools. It is 25 millimeters or one inch square. It's a tiny little part. We're really excited about it. The package may prove to be challenging to some people, so I wanted to talk about how we can use it. You can start your development journey with the NetBurner development board. It's got two serial, USB-C serial, SD card, two ethernets, real-time clock, CAN, analog input, uh, Wi-Fi adapter, connector, LEDs, switches, power supplies, all in a convenient you know, development board. Now, if you're going to produce a product, you may prototype your product by adding jumper wires from the different connectors to your devices. But that's not something you can package in a beta product, and that's not something you can ship to a customer. So let's say we wanted to beta a development design. There are a couple different choices. One choice is to build a board with the four through-hole connectors that takes the carrier board that sits on the NetBurner development board. This is a good choice if you want uh, to be able to change the CPUs out in the field, if you want to have a robust verification that your board is working, if it doesn't work, you can put it back in the development board, etc. It's a good solution for people who aren't comfortable putting down a complex uh, SMT solution. But when you have all that working, you can go to the next step with the same design because this footprint can be designed to take both the plug-in version and the solder down version. So you can solder down your SOM and remove some cost and some size from your assembly. That's pretty cool. But let's say you need to be even smaller. The next step in the process is to remove the connectors and go to a tiny soldered down SOM. This SOM has both our Wi-Fi module and the SOM on it, an ethernet and a power supply. I developed this for an LED matrix display. Both the previous version and the tiny version are exactly the same circuitry. The designs for both of these boards are up as examples on our website under Altium Designs. We also have prints for the footprint and for the external connectors. We have a KiCAD footprint available. It's all there. Our goal is to help you produce a new product. You know, the real value in the NetBurner ecosystem is our easy to use, reliable software, but we don't charge you for that software. We give it to you with our hardware. That means you can evaluate us completely before you commit to spending lots of money. You start with development board and build your prototypes. Then in production, you can buy low cost modules from us and we we're responsible for sourcing all the components and doing all the hard assembly and test. And we at NetBurner, our desires are exactly aligned with you as the product developer. We don't make any money selling to the dev board. We probably spend more shipping them out than we charge you for it. So our interests are aligned. We at NetBurner want to make sure you're successful so we're successful. There's no disconnect. We charge $99 a year for support. Support is not a revenue stream for us. We are heavily incentivized to make sure you're successful as quickly as possible. And besides, it's a pretty cool part. 
I've enjoyed playing with it in the last six months when I've been doing alpha and beta work with it. And we're pretty sure you'll enjoy using it too. We're kind of excited.